2013 Honda Civic. Doing a little experiment to show you some pressures, temperatures, superheat, subcooling. I have it 100 grams short on refrigerant. Ran out of refrigerant, so it turned out to be convenient to make this little demo video since I stopped right there. This should have 400 and um, 25 grams, and I put in 300 and 20 grams. So it's a little short on refrigerant we know that but it's coming out minimum temperature and we're hot out here we're about 80 or almost 90 degrees 80 some degrees and if you look right here you can see sorry for the glare but this is the cycling on and off of the compressor because it's meeting its minimum temperature the minimum temperature here's the temperature out of the dash and we are getting down to and i have to 45 degrees. Let me put, take my gloves off. Oh no, that's PSI. So we're going down to 17 PSI and our high side pressure goes up to 204. So let's uh, go to temperature and we go down to 46 PSI roughly. 46, 45. So this is the cycling we're going up to as high as 47 and down to 45. So that's at 1500 RPMs and you can see my temperature gauge right there. Taking a the, uh, temperature. This is on recycle mode, sitting out here in the sun, being 100 grams short. Now if you take a look at the super, you gotta wait for it. You can't do an accurate superheater subcooling and you only can take it at that just before it shuts off, you're almost getting to where you would be if it was correct. But we're gonna load this up by putting on fresh air mode since it's hot out here. Take a look, it's really low on uh, subcooling. Like it's low and I'm taking the subcooling right here. I'm keeping it away from right there because it'll pick up the heat from the exhaust and uh, radiator and I'll cook this little clamp. Come on, turn back on. There it goes, it's on. Watch out the superheat. Now this is with it on and running. About 21, it shuts off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load that evaporator up with um, hot air. That's even hotter going down over the evaporator. This will force the cycle time up. We'll open the windows. Unlock the door, because I want to open it over there. Let's get it off the recycle. Close this door because it's out in traffic, but I'll open the other door. Now we should see the run times extend because we're letting all the warm air in, cold air out. We got it on fresh air mode, so it's taking this this hot air here and some of this cool air here, so it's not getting all hot air. But you can hear the cycle time is a little longer now. Listen. And you can see the cycle time. So if we come down to here, let's see our 94 degrees out here. 47 degrees, 47. The, the temperature hasn't changed. A little bit it went up to 49 degrees now that's bringing in the hot air there and we got the doors and windows open now you see the cycle time is extending you see the cycle let me get the little shadow there you see it as you can tell right when i opened up the doors and windows and i put it on um, fresh air mode because now it stays on long 18, 20, 19, 20. Now take the high side, still goes only up to 209 PSI. 202, 206. So 209 to 206, whether on this vehicle, whether I'm loading with the doors open and fresh air, or whether I was closed, with recycle the high side is still the same now you got to keep in mind we are 100 we are 100 grams low on refrigerant we're up in here in the 200 range we're about the 21 in, uh, psi range on the low side 
Now let's add in that other 100 grams. Let's make sure uh, my scales should have 30 grams. And we got 30. Take it off. I should have zero and I have zero. So now let's start putting in that other 100 grams. And let's see what's our, look at this uh, run time. You can see the little tiny burp right there. It turned off right there. And that was the other turn off time. And you see it's constantly running. But the high side, even with the low is not going any higher than when it was closed cooler cabin in recycle mode now let's see how this reacts with another 100 grams added to it so let's uh boogie in another 100 boom off there stop that 30 let this get down stabilize let's put in another 30 boom another 20 let it stabilize I don't just dump it with a bunch of liquid down there. Open it up a little more. Stabilize. Wait for it to come down. Let's get another 80, 90, 100. Let's get another uh, few grams in there. Oh, there we go, 100. Boom. Oh, almost 100. On the verge of 100. Now, can you hear that the compressor is not kicking out? But look at we're still at 21 PSI on the low side. Look at our high side. We're no longer 209 PSI. We're going down. Wait a minute. We're, we're on fresh air mode. We know we have hot ass air because we got all this air off the exhaust manifold and the radiator being sucked right down. We're in fresh air mode. We have the windows open. So we have it under full maximum load. But look at our high side pressure, 184 PSI. We added 100 grams to bring it up to the 425 grams. And our high side pressure went from 209 PSI, 206 PSI. And it went down by adding more refrigerant look at our low side we're at 21 psi we're still at 21 psi so we added more refrigerant and we went down on high side pressure now you see our subcooling went up a little bit and you will see some vehicles with 10 percent 20 percent or even 30 percent subcooling and we have really stabilized it now, when I was 100 grams short and it was running like this before, weren't we around 21 superheat just as the compressor kicked out because it couldn't stay running? We're just barely a little over that, even though we put in one quarter. So we're 425 and I was 100 grams short. And I just put in another basically 100 grams. We haven't really changed much there. We haven't changed much there, and we went down on the high side. I hear a lot of guys say the more refrigerant you put in, the higher the high side will go. But I just put in more refrigerant and brought it up to factory spec, and the high side went down. All right, guys, I think that's enough. And you can see we're a flat, steady line. We're no longer cycling. And with the windows open, our temperature out of the dash is 50 degrees. And now I can uh, close it up and put it on recycle. Take my recording, see what minimum is, put it back on recycle. Close the door. And then probably within one to two minutes, it'll start cycling again. So adding more refrigerant equals lower high side pressure. How's that for? There we're cycling now. There we go. And what I say, one to two minutes. So There's about one minute. And we're taking the load off of the evaporator. So there's less heat load off the evaporator because we're in recycle mode now. 
I closed the doors. The cabin is getting cooler. Look, we're back down there at 18 PSI, like about where we were when I was 100 grams less, but I have 100 grams more. And we're starting, other than the high side's not going up to 209, the low side is still down here. All right, guys, I will see you later. I gotta get off and go. I got my exhaust manifold on my personal work vehicle cracked. So they're taking that off inside the shop. I'm delivering it to a welding shop to get welded on uh, the catalytic converter to exhaust manifold on my Prius C. At the same time, I'll be doing a, uh, a recharge at a shop about five blocks away from the welding place. So that's convenient. And the shop here loaned me their Prius because they have a Prius shop car. Works out good. See you guys later.